very much want to thank Professor Mankiw and, of course, Professor Summers for being here. Uh, I don't know how often you get to be on the same dais with uh, your colleague, Mr. Summers, but we have certainly been given a spectacular evening of lots of thoughts. You heard me speak last week, and I think one of the things I find so interesting about the work of Professor Mankiw and my own work is that on about 70% of what he said, I totally agree. He's actually <laughs> written on the gas tax and several other things. Um, I only hope if Mr. Romney is elected that you will play a very important role. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that next week we continue and we have two spectacular people joining us. Click, click something? <laughs> <laughs> How about that? Well, one more? Fantastic. Technology is great. We have Professor Thomas Culkin of the Sloan School at MIT, who has been uh, an advisor to President Obama on jobs, and will be talking about his new idea about how we could create 20 million jobs over the next four years. And we also have my dear friend, John Coca, who's right here, Professor of Economics, uh, here at Northeastern, uh, who's been thinking a lot about uh, policies toward industry. Uh, some of you heard him a couple of years ago talking about the banking uh, uh, bailout and the auto industry. We're going to have Professor Quoka back with us to talk about uh, policies toward industry. We're going to be looking at jobs. And then, two weeks from tonight, we're actually going to get an answer to a question that Larry Summers was unwilling to answer. And that is, what should the Fed do? We will have the CEO and President of the Boston Federal Reserve Bank with us uh, here, um, Mr. Rosengren, uh, who has been a major advisor to Mr. Bernanke and has indeed uh, pressed him to use Fed action even more aggressively. We'll have a chance to question him about that. And we'll go on to a lot more. Later in the semester, as you know, we'll be looking at foreign policy, particularly given the incredibly sad news yesterday in Libya. Uh, we'll be looking at the Middle East. We'll have Graham Allison here. We'll have uh, uh, Nick Burns, we'll have Steve Kinzer. So we have a lot to cover, but I must tell you, this was one of the most exciting nights I've spent in 40 years of economics. <laughs> <laughs>